Welcome back to more Skyrim. Now, as we can see over here, Serana sort of clipping with the uh, dagger a little bit. And you know, all of the polygon clipping, you can't really prevent that. One of the good things I've discovered is that when I fast traveled over here, they, they, they kind of moved my, my fast travel place. So that it's closer to the fort. And I really appreciate that. Now no more needless running. Not as much. East run. You're an asshole. I'm impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly. See, see, even when he's complimenting you, he uh he seems like an asshole. I'm impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly. For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. Old man, I heard you know how to read math. Last time I read math, uh, I sort of, I sort of blacked out for a while, what can I do for a few hours, I think. It was too complicated for my me. My trip to Skyrim has become quite the adventure. Ah, my rescuer! It's good to see you again. It's not exactly. This guy's carrying a blade sword. Used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. He seems and like a total like asshole. Bad. This is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the night's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I think I have one, actually. now. Reading has made me weary. I think the one I picked up before in the main quest line get some rest. have the uh, the dragons in it. Do you have a moment to talk? Yes. That moth priest Dexon. He said we needed two other elder scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. Uh, I see what's your thing. My father, and that's saying something. You know, I've asked myself the same thing. I hoped that if he saw me, he might feel something again. But I guess I don't really factor in at this point. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just a means to an end. We need to find my mother. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? Dawnguard. Um, um... I don't think so. She said she wanted to stay awake in case the situation was resolved. It had to be one of us, and, well, she's so much more powerful than I am. It just made sense for her to be out here. And 
anything else? I don't think it's going to be Dawn Guard. Wait, that almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend to garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too peaceful. Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. True. But I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. It's around the side of the castle. Let's move. Let's move. I'm guessing going to... I'm guessing going into a castle full of vampires means I'm gonna have to have uh, lots of people to cut up. You see, I still think we should just run in there. I mean, there's a dry dragon. I thought I thought there was a dragon here. Okay, whatever. There's no dragons here. Just a bunch of birds, which I can probably shout down. And half of them will fall in the lake, which means I won't be able to pick any of that up. But yeah, I still think we can just storm through the front. You know, I have enough magic in me. Or rather, I have enough fortified destruction to uh, just sort of just go in full of fireballs and stab people. Seems to be a lot of people to stab. Well, Who's there? I'm a crap shot. Oh, screw it. Oh, screw it. That's not a skeleton, that looked more like a drugger. A very dead Draugr. Are there any more Draugrs around? I don't even know why I bother looting these things. Alright, how many things are here? Now, I don't know if that's a skeever or a uh, dog. But I know what is not alive. Next. Where's the next one? Lost. On some days, this would smell just. I'm glad you weren't here then. All right, let's just go and slaughter them all. Seems like there's too many for me to not charge in. Full of, I don't know. I make it one hit these things anyways. Oh, 
Ring of Minor Destruction. That seems like shit. You know, there's way too many of these notes. So I'm not even going to read that one. Doesn't seem to be anything interesting here. Oh, well, there's something here. Sleep coffin. I think I'll pass. Take a left up here, got it. I have contracted a disease. Uh, let's actually see what it does. If it's nothing important, then... Magic recovers half as fast. That's okay. You know? Um, I'm not someone that uses Magicka. I have fully enchanted gear that makes it so that I don't need to use Magicka. Where does Serana go? I think she... Uh, died. No, I don't think she died. What was that? I think I tripped over something. Lost. Don't like webs. Okay, so that's Serana being noisy. Oh shit. Lost. I hate these things. Okay, now how do I how do I go over there? guessing go back the way I came through like the one place that I haven't been to yet one full of bear traps ouch out that that shit well Serana didn't seem to like the spikes either or the traps Ow. Ooh, this door open. Well, the game is making me look stupid. Yes, yet again. I seem to be okay with that for the most part. You've made it to the courtyard. Oh no. What happened? Well, she's the only thing alive. What happened to this place? Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks... Well, dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. Yes? What did you need? I used to walk through here after evening meals. It was beautiful. This was my mother's garden. It... Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Wait. I just picked up something random. You know, if it's something I haven't seen before, I, I, I pick it up.
Yes? What did you need? Before my father became obsessed with a prophecy, my mother and I spent quite a bit of time. Before my father be She was very fond of her alchemical garden in the castle courtyard. She taught me quite a bit about cultivating quality regions. Like the best of friends, I would never hesitate to share anything with her. It was very sudden. It was almost like one day we were a normal family, and then the next... I didn't know who they were. I'd try to visit my mother in the garden, and she'd quickly shoo me away, saying she was much too busy. She had to be up to something in that garden. I'm hoping it's a clue that will tell us where she went. Missing crests. Something's wrong with the moon dial here. Some of the crests are missing and the dial is askew. I didn't even know the crests could be removed. Maybe my mother's trying to tell us something. Investigate the moon dial. Well, I'm standing on top of it. I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. Oh, well at least I don't have to figure out which one I need. Are you telling me that there is pieces here that can be found using clairvoyance? Nah, clairvoyance isn't gonna help. Okay, there's one. I'm telling you, there's something strange. Yeah, I heard you the first time you said it. I am just looking for pieces. Doesn't look like there's anything here. See, I think I liked it better when Clairvoyance actually told you how to pick things up. Ah, uh, North Tower. I don't know if we're supposed to get out of the garden. Oh, there's one. tunnels before, but I bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. Well, there seems to be some shit here. Huh. Now, if I played this a couple of, I don't know, months ago, then I would have uh, not been able to help picking up every single alchemy ingredient ever in that place. Oh, what's that? Emeralds. Very nice. I wonder why that was there. Ew. Ew, ew. Ew, blood. Why did I just get the sound of discovering an area? This part of the castle before. Be careful. I don't know what might be around. Well, let's find out. Nice. We're getting close. Seems like a welcoming sure. party up there. Yep, there's the welcoming party. I think I can deal with a bunch of low level enemies in the appropriate manner. I use stand still, it's very effective. Holy shit, these aren't low level at all. I guess they're they're low enough that I can still handle them. Now, what do we have here? Planters? They seems like something in our house, but apparently this one can't be used. 
It is kind of in the middle of a fucking mess, so I, I wouldn't blame it. I mean, the only thing that could grow in there is probably like dirt and, and something that. Oh, the gargoyle. See, when there's one of these, I just want to hit it. It's it's because the only time that I've ever ran into those is when I had to go in and kill them. Seems like there's another two things up there. I don't know what they are. Let's go in and shoot it in the face. It's like a Draugr. Sure, go ahead and revive those things. It's not like they help, they don't tank, and they're they're just kind of bad. Oh shit. There's a few more enemies up- oh. Oh, how did I not see all of this? How did I not see all of this? Well, one thing's for sure. This place is a good source of gems. Okay, Serana, I feel like you can handle yourself up there. So, go ahead, be useful, and I don't think that's gonna come to life. Oh, shit. Whee! I don't even know why I search these things, I mean. There are new types of skeletons, which makes it hard to know which ones to search for since they're all called skeleton. Alright, where's the other one? Okay, I should find a way up there. That thing has a lot of health. That might just be the boss skeleton. But it still died. Somehow I know this thing's gonna come to life, so I'm just gonna shoot it. What do you know? I'm wrong. I guess it- Ah, I took the ancient Nord arrows. Old habits just... wouldn't... Go away. Whatever. Are you sure that thing is not gonna come to life? Because I feel like if I was a game developer, then I would make that thing come to life. Yeah. Knew it! Knew it! So you chose to revive this thing over this thing. Maybe this is too powerful for you. I, I, I don't know. No direct path seen. Probably because I was falling. Oh, that door didn't open before. That place seemed buried. Wait, what? Or maybe this is where we came from. I don't actually know. No direct path seen. You want me to go up? And through the door. Ugh. I feel like after you have a certain level of lockpicking, you should just be able to open doors. Without going through the lockpicking minigame. Alright, what is this? This is gold and potions. Alright, I have no idea where we're supposed to go. I mean, we fought a gargoyle. And this is the way that we came. 
This is where all the dead stuff is. It's a nice tuff of grass, you know, it's dead. And there's... There's... No sign of enemies. Oh, there's something up there, so this must be the right way. If there's stuff that's alive, then I'm there to make it dead. Well, that didn't need a power attack. I swear, those things are a better source of ore than mining. I don't know if that's the last one, because it's kind of far away. I guess it's not. Now, we're kind of running out of things that are alive. Who's there? Ah, uh, there's a statue of Mara. Oh, there's that. Gold, block picks, potions. Stuff. Gold. Again. Gold. It's not like I need gold. I mean, I have two million gold. But I still take all the gold. And apparently we're going up. After coming all the way down. Can't search that. That's gonna come to life and attack me, probably. No, that's actually buried in dirt. Next. Oh, you, you, can't, you can't revive these, but I guess that that's a normal gargoyle. I don't blame you. Nobody can revive everything. Who's there? Well, I guess we have to fight these one at a time. I honestly couldn't tell what was happening there, but I think it, it was supposed to be something heroic. Or something that was supposed to not be ruined by bad camera angles. Linen wraps. Useless clutter. Spider webs, not something I would like. Um, Lost. No boss fight, but then again, the gargoyles don't show up with that spell, so I don't, I don't know what's up with that. Um, all that seems to be here are skulls. This has to be it. What? I knew she was deep in the necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know, but I had no idea she had a setup like this. What is this? Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. All it looks what to is me is skulls. I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Not that I ever saw. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Not... not what you're thinking. She just found them fascinating. I 
remember she used to keep a small journal. See if you can dig it up. A small journal. I'm guessing you're not gonna let me cheat. Nope. Now, if I was a soul gem, black soul gem, very nice. Black soul gem, very nice. Oh, those are all the fragments. Should I take those? I mean, they're nice to collect, so I guess, I guess I'll take them. Soul gem shards. That's actually the first time I've seen soul gem shards. You know what? Since I'm taking all the soul gems, I might as well just take the common one. Um, Nurn root, sure. Ice race teeth. Very nice. Healing potions. Oh, a small pearl. Very nice. Pearl, also very nice. You see, a lot of this stuff I just pick up because you can't find them anywhere else. And I actually don't know how to use any of it. I mean, frost salts, void salts, fire salts, purified void salts. I don't even know what that is, but it's... It's new, I've never seen it before, so it's probably useful for this quest. And I'll take the fish. Apparently it makes nice poisons. Charge skeever hide. That might be able to cure my disease if someone uh, turns me into a vampire. With an attack. I have saber cat. Shrooms. Shrooms. Okay, I did get a bunch of uh, alchemy ingredients, but I don't see any journals. If I was a game developer, I would, I'd put it here. What's this? I just activate things that needs activating, or let's activate a bowl. Ah, oh, what do you know? I found it. Yay! Mules. You did. Let me see them. What is this soul cairn? I don't know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly. To travel to the soul cairn itself. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul cairn. A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Oh, damn it. We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Hmm, not bad. We better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. We just need to find them. Finally ground bone meal. Finally ground bone meal! Oh, that was convenient. I need to put all their shit in. Oh, I was gonna collect those. <sighs> then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Can I ask you something first? Of course. What is it? I've been asking myself the same thing since we came back to the. She was so sure of what we did to my father. I couldn't help but go along with her. I never thought of the cost. Possibly. I guess even a vampire mother is still a mother. She worried about me. About all of us. But she wanted to get me as far away from my father as possible before he really went over the edge. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I just didn't expect anyone to care how I felt about her. Thank you. Are we ready then? Yep. Alright. Here goes. 
portals and stuff. Too bad we only have one, or I can place the other one and that make traveling a little bit easier. Those are some nice stairs you got there. I I think I'm supposed to go in. Ow, 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 ow. That hurts. Are you alright? That looked painful. Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The soul cairn is well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. There might be. But I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Not your first choice, I'd guess? Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. What? My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the Soul Cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. Become a vampire or become partially soul trapped? Well, I think that becoming partially soul trapped means that I, uh, it might just reverse the effects of that mod that I put on. So I think I'll choose that over vampirism because I, I don't want my blood tainted. But I think we've been recording for long enough, so whatever I decide, I'm going to do that in the next video.